Right, next type of distribution that you are going to learn about is the Poisson distribution. This has um, a similar sort of feel to it as the binomial distribution. We do um, similar kinds of things, but it's got a different formula, different parameters, and that kind of stuff. Now, Poisson actually is French for fish, but that's not where this distribution gets its name from. The guy that came up with it was called Poisson. So, let's have a look at what it's all about. It's looking at occurrences of an event over an interval of space or time. X is the number of occurrences, and then we talk about X following the Poisson distribution. So, Poisson distribution applies if the events occur randomly, if they occur independently of each other, with a constant probability, and singly, so they don't happen at the same point or time. And we can remember this with this uh, RIPS. So, randomly, independently, probability is constant, singly, not at the same time. So let's see how this actually works in context. So we would then say that x follows a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, where lambda is the uh, constant mean. So if we look at this example where x is the number of floors in a 50 meter length of steel cable, there's an average of 0 0.03 floors per meter. We can see that it fits rips because those floors occur randomly across the cable. There's nothing that determines where on the cable they happen, they're just random. They occur independent of each other. So a floor happening in one place doesn't have any effect on the probability of a floor happening in another place on that cable. The probability is constant, there's always 0 .3, 0 0.03 floors per meter, and they are, happen singly, so you can't have two floors at the same point. So it follows RIPS, therefore it follows a Poisson distribution. Now the lambda parameter is the constant mean, and we're looking at a length of 50 meters. We know that you get 0 0.03 floors per meter, so we need to multiply that up for 50 meters, and if you do 50 times 0 0.03, you get 15. So x follows a Poisson distribution with mean of 15. Okay, so working out probabilities from this, you use a particular formula. So I'm using a small x here as a uh, general term for this formula. When you're using it in your questions, you'll be asked to work out things like find the probability that x equals 2, for example, and you would put it into this formula. Similar to what you are used to doing for binomial distribution, it's just a, a different format for the formula. So we have e to the minus lambda, lambda to the power of x, all over x factorial. Let's see some examples then. So here we have x following a Poisson distribution with lambda 5. We want to find the probability that x equals 2, so we pop it into our formula. So e to the minus 5, since lambda is 5, 5 to the power of 2, lambda is 5 and x is 2, and all over 2 factorial. Put it in your calculator, and away you go. The probability that x equals 0 will be e to the minus 5, then lambda to the power of 0 is always going to be 1, so we don't need to worry about that. And 0 factorial is always 1 as well, so we don't need to worry about that. So that's true for any lambda. Um, if you're working out probability x equals 0, it's just always e to the minus lambda. In your calculator, you then get your answer. Probability x is less than 2 is the same as the probability x equals 0 or the, that x equals 1. Thinking about that floors example, it's, you know, if you're looking for less than two floors, you can either have zero floors or one floor. So work out each of those and add them together. All right, more um, contextual example. We'll go back to those um, floors in the steel cable again. So um, we are going to work out the following probabilities. We know that x follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 15, and we saw that on the first slide. We're going to work out the probability that there are 10 floors in the cable, so we put 10 and 15 into our formula for, for x and lambda, and work out what that would be. If there were more than two floors in the cable, that's 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. Remember we did those sorts of things with binomial distribution. So then the probability that it's less than or equal to 2 is the probability that it's equal to 0 or 1 or 2. So we work each of those out and add them up. 
and get our final answer. Now notice I haven't rounded that one to three significant figures because it, that would round to one and that's not going to be enough detail for the question. So you need to be sensible about your answers if you get something like that. And then more than six but less than nine floors in the cable. We're not including six and we're not including nine. Um, because it's strictly more than six and strictly less than nine. So that means we can either have seven or eight floors. We work out each of those and add them together. And remember I told you that Poisson was French for fish? Well, 